Okay, it's time to learn about subforms. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a customer form, but we also want to be able to enter new product information if we have a new customer or an old customer. So let's go ahead and click on the Create tab, and let's click on Form Design. And just like typical, like we've done in the past, I'm going to minimize the property sheet here. I want to have my form header and footer in view. Okay, I'm going to expand this just a little bit here, and now I'm going to put a title header up here. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, this title header is called Customer and Product Entry or Data Form. Okay. Click on the text box or the label. Uh, let's go ahead and let's change the size to 24. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull this out just a little bit so I can see all my text. I'm going to bold this. I'm going to change the color to white. Right click on the backdrop to the form header. Go to fill back color. And what I want to do is I want to make this a nice lightish blue and so now I can see my customer form in the back. I want to create a very special effect and I want to create like a shadow effect. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click copy and then in the header I'm going to right click and paste. That creates a new text box. Now this text box right here is on top of the other text box. So if I pull this down the text should be on top. What I'm going to do to create a shadow effect is I'm going to click on the first text box and I'm going to change the color to something more of a darkish blue. Click on the new text box, the new label, bring it down, and then line it up so that the text is just a little bit off diagonally. And look, it now forms something like a shadow. All right, let's go ahead and let's click both text boxes. I'm now going to pull this up and then over. So now I can take my form header and reduce the size a little bit. So now I've got a nice title here for my form. All right now, time to add some fields in. So I go up to the design tab. These, remember, are the two most important buttons that you'll need in Access Forms. So I'm going to add existing fields. You've got to make sure that the table that you want to enter values from is closed. So, and they are. So I'm going to go ahead and from company company ID, name, product type, let's just go right down the list, address, city, state, zip, phone, contact first name, contact last name, initial contact date. All right, let's close that out. Notice that when I X out of that, the button is no longer highlighted. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them all. I'm using my arrow keys now to pull them all up at the same time. Kind of line them over. Now, I'm going to play around with my form and make it more professional. That's the goal. One thing I'm going to do is give myself a little bit more room here for the company name. So I'm going to pull it up to maybe to about here, line it up with this ruler bar. The product type, I think, is something that should also be expanded out. So I'll pull it out to here. Address is also a good idea, so let's pull that out. There we go. City, let's go ahead and pull city out. State is just two characters. Zip is five numbers. Phone number, I don't think we need to pull that out. But customer name, first and last, is a good idea, so let's go ahead and pull that out. You're probably not seeing this in the video, but the cursor is changing into the double arrow, and that's how you know when to expand it out. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give a little bit of space here. I'm going to use my arrow keys to pull that down. And I want to give my form a more professional look. So I want to separate the company ID and the company name from the other things. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to go up here to Controls, 
and I'm going to add in a line. So what I do is I select right about here and I add in, there we go, add it in a line. I keep pulling it over. Now if you pull it down, it's going in a diagonal. So you want to make sure that this line is pretty well straight. So right about there. And then I let go. Okay. Now there's a line there, but I'm going to give it a special effect. So I'm going to right click on the line, go down to special effect, and I'm going to give it a bit of a sunken look. So I click on that button there. That'll give it a sunken look, and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. All right, now I select these, and let's go ahead and let's see. Let us pull this up a little bit closer. Right about there is good. Okay. Now I want to separate my fields a little bit, so I'm going to increase the form design area to about seven. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these fields right here. Contact first name, last name, and initial contact. I'm going to use my mouse. Now we're going to pull these over, give us some space. Okay, now I'm going to insert another line, but the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to click on the line, right-click, copy, right-click, paste. And what happens is the new line that you pasted appears up here. So I put my cursor up here, drag that line down to about here. Okay, let's look at the form that we have. So I'll go to this view right here, and voila! Look at that. Separator lines. Gives it a little bit more of a professional look. And the lines are sunken. Now, what I want to do is I also want to be able to import uh, a product subform. Okay, what's a subform? Well, let's go to database tools real quick because I want to show you what a subform is. Go to relationships and notice that there's a one to many relationship between the company table and the product table. And what that means is that for each company ID, you can have many products for one company. In other words, a person can buy or make many products in this case. So, what we're going to do is we're going to insert something called a subform into this. And we're going to insert it into this area down here. Well, we can't do that unless we go back to design view, because design view is the place where you can design your form. So, what I do is I scroll down, and I'm going to add just a little bit more space here. And now, what I want to do is I want to go to the controls category, and the, this one right here is called subform slash subreport. Now, I'm going to click, drag over to about here, release, and immediately the subform wizard appears. I'm going to use an existing table and queries, so I'm going to hit next. Now, the table that I want to use is the product, oops, <laughs> I select the one I don't want. I select product table. Now, let me pull that wizard down for just a second. Do you see I already have product type here? So that would be redundant to import the product type. What I'm going to do first is just import everything. Then I'm going to click on product type and just put it back because I don't really need it. It would be redundant. Uh, another thing that would be redundant in this case, uh, you don't see it because I can't scroll up, but would be the company ID. So I don't need the company ID. That would also be redundant. So I'm going to pull that back. I don't need to see two of them. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and click Next. I'm going to pull the wizard back into view here. Now, let's read this carefully. Would you like to define which fields link your main form to this subform or choose from the list below? I'm just going to choose from the list. And what I want to do is I want to show the product for each record in the company table. You can neglect the SQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language, and a query is a list of things in a database, so we don't need to worry about that. I basically just want to show each product for each record in the company table. I click Next. I want to give this a name, and so the name that I'm going to give this is Product 
data form for each, oops, don't need to capitalize that, company. Finish. Let it do its job. All right, now look what just happened. This is a subform. Doesn't look like a whole lot, but I'm going to show you what this means. Let's take and drag till we get a double arrow here. Let's drag that out a little bit to about here, to the end of the line. Okay, good. Now, let's go ahead and run the form. Check that out. I can now see and enter new product information for each customer. For each customer. I'm going to drag this down. Now, this record control right here controls the records in the product form. So look as I click the arrows. It goes between the different products. This record control controls the customer field. So as I click through the customers, look at those new products up here. Those are the products that are linked in the one-to-many relationship created in the database. So now if I have a secretary who can enter data for me, he or she can now enter everything through this form, and they don't have to have multiple forms to do it. We can even create a brand new customer. Remember, the bottom record control controls the customer information, so if I click on the last one, this is to enter a brand new customer and I can enter product information for that customer right here and there. And so this is the idea of a subform. Now notice that the label, product data form for each company, is a little bit too close to the subform. So let's fix that. Let's go back to design view, because that's the only place we can fix things in a design form. Let's scroll down a little bit. Oh, that's a little bit too much. Okay. Now remember, each thing in Access, when you are in Design View, has its own individual selection checkbox, and that's what this is here. So I'm going to pull that label up just a little bit here. Good. I think that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to click on all the text here. I'm going to give it a new format. I'm going to bold it, and I'm going to change the text color. I'm going to make it a deep blue. All right, let's go ahead and run the form in form view. Looking pretty good, except now I've got my line running right through the title for my subform. Okay, so let's go back to design view. Let's now take the subform, remove the property sheet if you see it there. Let's take the subform. Let's drag it down a little bit. So I'm going to need a little bit more space now. All you need to do is click once and drag. It takes both items. There we go. Drags it down a little bit. This is now beneath my line. I'm now going to decrease the space that's here by that much. Now, I don't need all this extra space over here, so I'm going to pull this back. Wait till your cursor changes into a double arrow. Pull that back. That looks good. Let's run the form. Beautiful. And so here we have a very professional looking form and we can enter values for the customer and the product. So your job right now is to follow the steps that I did and make your customer and product data form look as close as you can to the one that I just created.